Okay, I got this hole drilled up in here. I went to a new style pin, which is one of these right here. It is a shoulder pin. So this goes in pretty deep into the cylinder. So if you look in your mark in there, it's got a nice deep shoulder in it. This is our cutter that we use to cut it. Counter bores it down. We're at an angle, so we got to put it in there at an angle. So you can see how the screw's going straight this way instead of following the crack. These screws on the top, I'll do the same screws, but I'll come in at an angle this way here. So this first one has to be a little bit of an angle, and then I should be able to go straight in on the other ones. So well, I can't go too straight because I got the other pin on the other side. But anyway, we'll run these along the crack across the top. It'd be about probably four of them up there, maybe. So, anyway, that's how we're doing that. We'll uh, go ahead and put one in there and see what it looks like. Okay, after a bunch of back and forth guessing on where it was going to be, how deep I was going to be, you can see how it broke off pretty much flush right here in the separate corner. It's basically flush right there. I got exactly the right depth. On this side here, you can see how it's sticking out quite a bit because of the angle I'm at. But, uh, other than that, it uh, looks like I got it pretty damn close to what I needed. So now I'm going to go ahead. That's it for this side. Now I'm going to come back through the tops and do these things from the top. I'll come in at a heavy angle here and start working my way across. I'll do one on this side. I'll go over here and do one on this side and fill in the centers. So that was the hardest one right there for now. The next one might be just as hard. We'll see. Okay, we got this hole in there now. It's another deep one down in there. Yeah, I can't really see in there with the light. Anyway, it goes in there pretty far. Actually went out the other side of the block finally. Uh, what am I going to do with my drill? There we go. So here's our drill bit. Let's see, it goes through an angle there. Starts out more like this and it goes out ways, it goes out the bottom. Get a pretty good heavy angle, so we missed this screw here, which is going through an angle that's uh, about like that. So you can just see how you missed the screws. The different heads as they go across. So anyway, we got the threads in there now. I'll go ahead and put the uh, plug in there. All right, I got that sucker in there now. So, a little bit above the surface, which is good. Definitely at a heavy angle. So it's in there tight. So I'll go ahead and look at the other side over here. I'll see if I can put a hole from this other side. Work on the valve seat over there on that side. Work my way across. Okay, I got this other one done now, or at least in there. Laying in there, it's locked up. It's right on the edge of the valve seat this way. Looks like I'm gonna have room for one more between these other between these two here. So there's not a lot of threads in here. And as the draw goes through, it goes all over the place. You can see how it goes through the block there. It's going through a screw over here side of the block. There's another screw over here on that side. So just walking around all over the place. So I'll go ahead and zip this one in there. And we'll just put one more down the center. And one more over here where the seat is. And right now this one, that one goes at that angle. This one goes at this angle. I went and looked at my old video to see how this one went in there. But this one goes at a pretty heavy angle like this. So it goes right across that one. So a lot of angles involved here. The key is not to cut the one below it away, so that's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some goop on this and put it on in. Alright, bottom it up. It's in there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one in here right between these. Pull it out a little bit so we can see what's going on. And I think I'm gonna put the angle in kind of about the same angle this other one was in. 
and a little bit off the side, but kind of like this right down the center, between the two, between the two of them at an angle. So it should go about 50% through the one I just put in it, barely hit this one and finish up the rest of that crack in the block. So I'm going to grind these away and drill a hole. Okay, I got the third pin in there. Basically, I just duplicated the angle of the old one. It was in there like this. And then it went into an angle about like that when it was finally in all the way. So it pretty much just cut the other one right in half. So when you, after the hole is tapped, you can see a little bit of air gaps on this side over here from where it went through the original plug. So anyway, those three are all stacked up on there. So we got four of these good plugs in here. <clears throat> you got the overlap right here on top of the cylinder, which doesn't really hurt anything if that breaks away. And we all our tapered pins all the way down through the two down inside there. The light might help. So I still haven't peened any of that stuff over yet, so I gotta grind these things down and peen them. So we got one more to do on this side here, which is gonna be the one for the valve seat going right through there. So I'll figure out how we're gonna do that, and we'll do that one next.